What's up guys? Welcome back to another Diesel Dog video and a new video of me working on our new car already. That is right, the 2021 Explorer we just got a couple months ago already has issues. So, working on it already. Let me show you what's happening. So, the passenger side wiper is not contacting. Uh, hard to see, but there's water spots right here. It's not squeegeeing the water off and she's noticed it prior it wasn't as bad put some wiper blades on it seemed all right with the windshield washers on there let it go we haven't gotten a lot of rain lately so now we're getting some rain the other day last friday she says i think the windshield wipers worse i'm like okay let me take a look at it when we get back so uh i noticed that the wiper arm right here was really close to the hood and I'm pushing on it. I'm like, what the heck that, that ain't right. You can see it flexing down under there. And uh, so I pulled this cowl off and I found that the mounting bracket on the passenger side has sheared off. I got a new transmission unit here. So basically, I don't know if it's that one. I don't know the orientation with it laying here. I think it might be the other way. It doesn't matter. One of these mounting brackets is just sheared off right there on that side. So it's just the wiper itself, that tension, that spring tension on there is just pushing it up and uh, not applying pressure to the passenger side windshield wiper. Now I do have a limited warranty on this thing. I could take it back and they would replace it. But by the time I take off work, the uh, wages I would lose doing that doesn't make much sense. I'm money ahead if I just buy a transmission unit and put it in myself and I take all you guys along for the ride. This is a used transmission assembly I found on eBay. Uh, hopefully this is not like a regular issue on these things, but, uh, and hopefully this thing's right. I haven't taken it all apart to compare yet, but uh, it comes with the nuts on there, basically everything you need. You just gotta swap over the motor, swap over the arms, and it should be okay. So I'm gonna start taking this apart. This cowl is actually really easy to pull off. It comes with kind of these like wing nut uh, screws. They're not really like push pins, but the center of it threads out. And then the whole thing pulls out so looks like I folded one over that's all right both sides it's a two-piece deal I'm gonna pull that out pull that out and then we'll be right to our transmission assembly clip clip this thing doesn't necessarily need to come out there's the battery there's like a little clip there the rest of them are these little push pin deals there, 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 look at that. One thing I will say is they made that pretty easy. Yep, mm-hmm, fun times. All right, looks like this one actually Gonna have to pull the wiper arms off to get this one out. First thing you're gonna do is pop these uh, little rubber covers off there. You got a nut, gonna take the nut off both arms and show you a little trick to get these off. This is how most wipers are set up here. They got a kind of a tapered spline stud that uh, the arm just pushes over top and then you jam it down with the nut. Uh, if they're seized on there, or stuck on there, it's an older vehicle, they are a pain in the butt to get off sometimes. A lot of times I'll be lifting up on the arm as I tap it with a rubber mallet and usually that'll jar it loose. You don't wanna get too crazy with it because you could cause more damage than you're repairing. But uh, you know, that's kind of one way to do it. Let me introduce you to my new handy dandy tool from Snap-on. Uh, 
windshield wiper arm puller. They also call it a battery terminal puller. So put it on your battery terminal if you got a stuck one, um, which happens every once in a while. So I knew these things existed. I've been wanting to buy one because I've had some stubborn wiper arms on a lot of vehicles over the years, even on the big trucks. You know, sometimes you gotta change the transmission assembly, they'll break and the wiper arms are a pain in the butt to get off. So I went on the truck, the snap-on truck, asked him how much this was. I said, you gotta be kidding me, I can get that cheaper on Amazon. Anyway, so I bought the snap-on one. You get to use it on this thing, see how it works, and hopefully makes this job a lot easier. If it does, then I'll highly recommend this tool because if you're in the field, you're gonna end up having to pull wiper arms off eventually for whatever reason. Please work, I'm gonna be so mad if this does not work. Like, real mad. There's that. Not a lot of room here, so. Oh, look at that butter. I probably could tap these off, no problem, but just in case, that makes life easier. Perfect, yeah. Here's a better look at where this thing snapped. Look at that. You know, they just can't make quality stuff anymore. I'm sure they, you know, melted down some freaking beer cans over in China and shipped this overseas to put on these American cars, but oh well. Hopefully this thing is right. Um, let's compare. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we got a winner. Mounting bolts are going to be using an 8 millimeter socket here. I'll stick it in my nut and bolt tray there. The other one's broken off, so this should just come out of here now. Where's the connection? What do we got here? here we go. Ah, there we go, just roll it out. The old broken one out of here. I can see why it would be a point of failure because it's not even, they got this cut in there. Like, it's just attached by that in there. Like, like what's the point of having, unless they're planning on it, for flexing or something, I don't know. But if it's just attached there, it's attached there. I mean, that's not very sturdy, I wouldn't I wouldn't think. But maybe this will be a known issue. I couldn't find anywhere where other people were experiencing this, so I'm not sure why this one broke. I don't know if the windshield got replaced at one point and they broke it or what, but you know, your windshield wipers get stuck in some ice or something, you go to hit the wipers not realizing it. I don't know. Anyways. So, these arms just pop off like that. Let's see if this one will. There we go. And just like that. Come on. All right. Hopefully I didn't break anything there. I guess this beats doing the water pump on a 2013 Explorer, the one we traded in, got lucky, never had to do the water pump. So that was probably coming. So life's like, oh, oh, you don't want to work on your own cars. Okay, well, guess what? Wiper transmission assembly. And just like that. swap a -roo. Stick that in there. And then in the words of Mitchell and all data, 
assembly, click, reverse procedure. Oh, okay. All right, motor bolted all in. Now we can snap our uh, arms in here. That one goes all the way down. This one snaps on top. Oh, that was a good sound. And uh, we can continue reversing our procedure. Roll this baby in nice and gently, like we took it apart. Go ahead and plug it in before we get all the way strapped down. And I can get my hand in here. Plugs in just on the back side here. Click, click. Not sure why there was two clicks, but we got two clicks is better than one, I'd say. So, yeah. I'm sure, there's a torque spec on these, probably like 89 inch pounds. So, let's go ahead and all right. Click. All right, that's good. It's 89. Oh, we'll get the. A little more. Click. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right. When in doubt, 89 inch pounds. Click. Okay, that's good. I'm going to turn the key on, flip the wiper, and let it go around and let it stop uh, where we need it to rest. I'm not sure which position that needs to be. Probably down here is where it was. I guess it rests there. But. Let's try it at least just to be sure. Okay. Good enough for me. Go ahead and slide it all in. I think it's, it kind of snaps into the bottom of the windshield there. And like that. Wiper arm over stud there, kind of eyeball where you can kind of usually see where the wiper rests. There'll be like some watermark there, a little line. Just match your back up, stick your nut on there. I don't know the actual torque spec for these nuts, but if I had to guess, I'd say like 18 foot pounds or something, they would say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set our torque wrench right here. Okay. All right, probably a little click. All right, that's good. Click, all right. Put our little rubber covers on back on there and stick them in there. Yeah, make it look nice and clean. Our cover. Oh, like a glove. I'll show you up here. You can see where uh, this cowl kind of pushes into the bottom of that ridge of the uh, windshield. So it kind of just pushes in there and that's going to seal, seal it up from water. So make sure you get that pushed back in there. Come on short. There you go. This didn't need to come out, but that's right. Back in there. Moment of truth. Remember it was not contacting on Passenger side already looking way better. This I've got like more than a hands gap here. Remember, this was like basically touching the bottom of the hood, it wasn't touching all the way, but it was like right there. So let's check her out.
Look at that. Working like it should, baby. That wife is gonna be happy. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of rain, so it just needed to be fixed. I mean, it is what it is. I bought the transmission assembly off eBay for 60 bucks. Like I said, by the time I took off work to take this up to the dealer just to get that part for free, even if they would have tried arguing with me or whatever, I'm sure they would have changed it, but it took me like less than an hour. Probably would have been less than that if I wasn't filming. Oh, here we go. So there you have it, 2021 wiper transmission assembly R&R. &R. Uh, already on the 21. Hopefully I don't have to do anything else to this thing for quite a while other than simple maintenance. So thanks guys for following along. Any comments, concerns, questions, leave them down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.